So, Tana Mojo has released a perfume. So a couple of years ago, I got a perfume and it resembles a lot of what she's described her perfume to be like. And here it is. <laughs> Not exactly the same, but like, a little bit. And I've looked up reviews to see what the perfume and scent was like of Tana Mojo's. And this is basically the same thing. This was a pound. A pound? A pound? In Poundland a couple years back. This is in no way me bashing Tana Mojo, by the way. Like, I love her. I think she's really entertaining. Big fan, you know? And I think she's great at what she does. She captures your attention and she's really entertaining. If you think about it, come on. Who else will you literally watch a show when she's being criticised for being such a bad person? Yet, she is getting millions of views for this MTV show that she's just finished. Think about it, not a lot of people can actually do that. Props to you, Gail, props to you. I just thought it would be funny for me to show a similar perfume that I've had for a long time, like a couple of years. I'm not even sure how long I've had it, you know? It's been a long time. I honestly love Tana Mojo. I think she's super entertaining. Like I watch all of her videos, yes. She, she's done things in the past, yes, I understand that. But she's done a complete 360, be it Marion Jake Paul, be it the MTV show, which I know, I get that, it didn't end too good. But literally people were watching every single episode. It's actually mad. I think at this point people just love to hate her. I feel sorry for the girl. Yes, she's very privileged now, I get it, I get it. But as we all know, a lot of people change with fame. I am not spending 50 odd pounds on a perfume. It's just not happening. No, not happening. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one if I still have the internet. <laughs> Bye.